good morning dear children welcome to the science class today children we'll read about chapter 5 grouping materials of different kinds in this chapter we will discuss about different kinds of materials around us properties of materials appearance hardness solubility insolubility density and transparency so let's see this chapter children we look around in our bedroom or classroom kitchen drawing room in different rooms have different different things or items suppose in our classrooms we see blackboard bench desk chalk globe chart paper etc in kitchen we see utensils gas stove cylinder microwave food materials like this in bedroom we see bed cupboard almira watch okay tv etc in drawing room children we see sofa table television okay light bulb carpet like this in different different rooms different different things are there in the playground children or park we see different types of trees are there grass are there in the zoo animals are there so what do we un understand above the observation we understand that there are many kinds of things in the world some of these are living and some of these are non living all of them have different shapes colors and uses they may be made of one or more than one kind of material such as cotton glass metal mud paper plastic and wood and some are visible and some are non visible means children we can see animals but we cannot see microscopic organism in our naked eye okay so they are invisible the use of things or materials depends on its properties and requirements for example we need a bed to sleep a chair to sit food to eat television to entertain ourselves also for making jewelry the materials should be shining for constructing buildings the materials should be strong okay so different materials are different types maybe they are different in shape different in size different in color different in uses now we see grouping of materials or things why we need to group materials children we see in the grocery shop different materials are arranged in different shelves okay that's why we can find easily in the library also we see different books arranged in different shelves they are arranged subject wise maybe author wise in alphabetical order okay so why we need to classify all the things so first of all we need to know what is classification the process of sorting out and grouping things according to some basic or criteria is called classification a few examples are discussed below here you see classification of things can be done on the basis of similarities and dissimilarities in their properties for example 
plants and animals are living things the similarity in them is that they are both made of cells but there are many dissimilarities too we can classify things on the basis of size color shape use and convenience okay classification of things can also be done on the basis of materials they are made of there are things which are made of more than one kind of material also there are different types of things that are made so here we will discuss about what properties of materials what are the properties we use different things according to our requirements and according to their properties so why do we wear cotton clothes in summer this is because cotton is light and a good absorbent of sweat similarly we wear woolen clothes in winter because they trap body weight body heat and keep our body warm okay according to their uses we wear the properties of materials make them suitable for particular use for example in order to store liquids like water milk tea coffee and juice we would use glass plastic or steel tumblers a few properties of materials that should be important for their uses are disused below then appearance different kinds of materials such as wood metal plastic glass and pottery look different from each other even different metals such as iron copper aluminum and zinc appear different from each other so in according to appearance materials are different types okay then comes to next property that is hardness children we know some materials are hard and some materials are soft hard materials for example wood glass a piece of stone metal key and an iron nail these are hard materials and examples of soft materials are cotton sponge okay a more hard substance can scratch or cut a less hard substance thus diamond is used to cut glass and it is the hardest substance of the metal okay then next property is soluble and insoluble children we know soluble substance which are dissolved completely in the water for example sugar salt etc and insoluble which are insoluble which are not dissolve in water they are known as insoluble substance okay then density next property is density okay here we see this experiment chalk powder and water cooking oil and water let's see what we will see here you see chalk powder we can see here in the bottom part but oil is on the upper part of the water why let's see we observe that chalk powder and sand sink and settle down also kerosene oil and cooking oil float on water and form separate layers this happens due to the 
डिफरेंस इन द डेंसिटी ऑफ मेटेरियल्स ओके डेंसिटी इज द डिग्री टू हुईज ए सबस्टेंस इज डेंस वेन टू मेटेरियल्स सच एज ए सॉलिड एंड ए लिक्विड और टू डिफरेंट लिक्विड्स आर पुट टूगेदर द लेस डेंसिटी मेटेरियल फ्लोट एब द मोर डेंस मेटेरियल द मोर डेंस सबस्टेंस sink and settle down so here we can see chalk powder is more dense than water so it is settled down and in this case oil is less dense from water so it is float on water okay chalk powder and sand here written you see chalk powder and sand sink and settle down because their densities are more than water kerosene oil and cooking oil were floating on water because their densities are less than water clear then next property is children transparency transparency three types transparent translucent and opaque first we discuss about transparent materials through which we can see clearly are called transparent materials light passes fully through these materials for example glass window some plastics and acrylic sheets are transparent in nature then translucent materials materials through which we can see only particularly partially are called translucent materials light passes only partially through these materials for example oily paper thin muslin cloth butter paper and frosted glass are translucent in nature then opaque materials in this materials through which we cannot see at all are called opaque materials means light does not pass at all through these materials for example wood wall metal sheet notebook and paper are opaque materials so clear three properties of transparency transparent translucent and opaque in transparent light pass fully translucent light passes partially in opaque light does not pass then comes to properties of a few commonly used materials wood dull appearance hard rough insoluble lower density than water and opaque okay so wood can float on water because it has lower density than metal shiny appearance hard smooth insoluble higher density than water than opaque so metal can sink on the water plastic dull appearance can be hard or soft insoluble smooth lower density than water can be opaque or translucent then glass shiny appearance hard smooth insoluble higher density than water can be transparent or translucent and these are some definitions you read what is classification what are soluble substances insoluble substances transparent materials translucent materials 
opaque materials you should remember okay and these are the some summaries of this chapter you read okay so again you read this chapter and learn all the properties of metals okay thank you